Hello everyone and welcome to NCC News. I'm Matt Racine and today I'll be your host uh, for today's show. Uh, we're going to be talking about film production's first film of the semester. Uh, we have a student here with us. Uh, let's welcome Frank Janello. How are you, Frank? Good, thanks. How are you? Very good. Thank you for being on with us. Thanks. Uh, before we go on and watch your project, give us a little background about it. So, um, yeah, I had this uh, Black Magic camera since about April of last year. And uh, I used it to make a couple of films here at NCC. Uh, some of them, when I was out uh, videoing, um, they were a little jittery because I didn't really want to bring a tripod. So I thought, well, you know, maybe a stabilizer would help. So um, I got one. Wow, that sounds so interesting. Uh, I'm very interested to see it. Let's watch the first clip. This is a newer 24 inch stabilizer. Okay, this is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It's got a, a, a rig from Small Rig on it, uh, an SSD memory, a 2x1 um, HDMI switch, a hand grip, and a, a mini XLR to XLR um, cable. This is a, uh, a Panasonic 25mm uh, lens. Underneath here is a Manfrotto plate so that it's a quick release and it'll work on a lot of different um, support devices. Um, a jib arm, a tripod, and uh, the stabilizer which we're going to use today. This is just a light stand with a uh, 5 8 inch stud in the top and we're going to use it to support the stabilizer while we're balancing the camera. Gosh, it all looks so cool. I'm excited to see what's next. Uh, but could you first tell us what decided to, what you decided to make your video on the stabilizer for? Have you been using it for a long time? Uh, no, actually, I just uh, when I made the video, I probably had it maybe about six weeks or a couple of months, and I was just learning how to um, balance it. And then the project came, uh, the uh, the film project came up about you know doing making instructional video. So I said, well. I'm doing this anyway. It'd be an interesting thing to make a video about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see the clip on how you set up the stabilizer. This is a view of the entire stabilizer, and I'm holding it just the way it would be held. Um, right now, I'm going to mount it on the light stand so that I can mount the camera on it. Okay, now you can see. It's floating around a little bit. It's not balanced. It should be level. So we're going to try to level it now. I've mounted a small bubble level on the front of it to help in balancing the camera on, on the stabilizer. When the stabilizer has been balanced, the bubble should be in that inside the inner circle. And right now it's not. The way this was made to be balanced was by adjusting these two knobs, or actually loosening them, and then moving the plate either back and forth or left and right. So when you loosen this knob here, you can move the plate back and forth. When you loosen this knob, you can move the plate sideways from left to right. And then you should be able to try to get that bubble in the middle of the uh, circle. So I previously kind of balanced this camera out the best I could do. Um, and so instead of moving these plates down at the bottom, um, I'm going to just try to add a little bit of weight to the uh, cage and see if I can balance it out the rest of the way just by adding a little weight to it. So this is just a screw. And we're going to see if that allows it to be a little bit more balanced. Uh, 
Okay, it's... still off balance. So one thing I can do is just uh, move the whole camera back and forth without adjusting the knobs on the stabilizer. And so the way I'm going to do that is just by loosening this knob here. And I'm just going to move the whole camera forward to try to get that bubble more centered. I have so many questions. Uh, first off, did you find it difficult to balance it? Uh, did you use a certain technique that helped you in the process? Uh, yeah, well, one of the tricks is to make it so that um, nothing moves around on the camera because otherwise every time you put it onto the stabilizer, you're gonna have to adjust it from scratch. So if you add another accessory, you're gonna have to go back to the beginning. So if you keep the camera the same, um, it, it's basically balanced. You just have to fine tune it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things I had to do is I, there was like a neck strap on it and it kept moving. It was always in a different position. I had to remove the neck strap and um, so that everything on the camera is basically positioned exactly wow. the same way. So now when I put it on, I just, just a little movement back and forth usually brings it in close. Wow. Uh, in your opinion, do stabilizers like this really make a big difference when you're out shooting? Yeah, I think they help, but depending on how much experience you have using it, from what I've read and seen, um, it takes a lot of experience to become mm -hmm. good at it. But between using the stabilizer and then doing some stuff with slow motion, it definitely makes a difference, yeah, even from the yeah, beginning. I can imagine. Well, I think everybody's very interested to see uh, your final segment. So without further ado, let's have a look. To test out the stabilizer, I'm going to reshoot this footage from an earlier project. Wow, I can really see a huge difference, Frank. It's, it's honestly, it's pretty cool. Um, big question, are you gonna be using this in the future, maybe for future projects? Uh, yeah, I definitely am, and, and hopefully I'll get better at using it, and yeah. uh, they'll be even smoother. Yeah, well, thank you very much for joining us, Frank. It was a pleasure having you uh, and discussing your project with us. Uh -huh. um, that's all the time we have for today, and uh, we'll see you all next time here on NCC News. Thank you.